is happening, people? We welcome you to the Agon Osh family. It is time for evolution. And so I haven't been make I haven't made a video in a month or so. I've I've been looking at, I've been looking at uh pers I've been doing personal things and working on personal projects. But I'll I'll keep I'll I'll, I'll come back to this uh to the weekly upload soon. So and in this video I just wanted to just express my thoughts on like the craziness that's been happening on, on the twenty twenty. So if we were to like begin to this 2020 craziness first it was like this potential uh world war three now so I, I started like really looking into into politics after like after all this stuff you know after all this uh insane stuff happening i started like really diving into politics this year and so yeah first there was this uh potential for a world war three then there was the uh and then i think there was kobe Bryant's death then there was the coronavirus then there was the economic crash and then there was uh i think i think uh the pentagon confirmed that there was uh that their their ufo footage was actually real you know i, I believe in aliens i i know i know they're real you know but i there's been so many accounts of people saying what they've seen but you know the pentagon officially confirmed that the, their UFO footage there was, uh, was was confirmed to be real, and that was big on Twitter. And people have kind of forgotten about it because of all the, the craziness with the with the coronavirus and the, and the economic crash. Like people didn't like really pay that much attention to it. But yeah, the Pentagon did confirm that. Then there was uh, then there was George Floyd's death, and then there was Jocelyn Maxwell. Who was the head of a child trafficking ring, and so when when I started like really looking into the the coronavirus and politics, etc., you know, I started just I started just uh, discovering that there were certain countries that weren't, weren't even in lockdown, such as such as Sweden and I believe Tokyo, and they've been safe so far. Like nothing has that really happened to them, you know. Compared to the the U.S., there has been more 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 deaths in the U.S., but the lockdown happened but compared to the to the other countries there it's just been there has not been like as much deaths i mean people die every day in the hospital but that, that that just goes to question like what's really going on you know why are they doing this and i believe it's just uh, some kind of political political agenda that they're trying to promote hence while we start to see the suppression of alternative information so, for example, there have been information on YouTube that are, that are coming from certain uh, independent news news YouTubers that their content is being suppressed and not shown to the public. Uh, sometimes their content gets removed from YouTube or banned. Uh, so, therefore, that they have created um, people have created a independent alternative website that's like YouTube but it's alternative and it uses uh, cryptocurrency and websites such as uh, Bitchu and, and Library these are alternative YouTube websites that people go to 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 express their 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 speech what they think you know their freedom of speech so I myself haven't been follow, really following the quarantine rules the lockdown when I want to go outside I want to go outside you know I'm, I'm not make, making any law stop me okay so I, I usually just I, I I go outside like every week to get some sun, to to relax, get a breather, and I find myself very pulled to this lifestyle. Uh, I, I, I'd I'd advise that you guys go into nature if if you have anxiety or if you just want to chill out, you know, go into nature. If you just want to calm your mind, just go into nature. Watch the squirrels, watch 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 the people. Just sit down. Uh, leave your phone at home. Don't don't look at your phone. Just sit down in nature. Don't do anything and just just chill. You'll find you'll, you'll find yourself like really really eased out. You know, really calm. You don't even have to have to meditate and close your eyes. But if you don't have any technology around you and you're just in the grass and you're just chilling, you're just looking at people and you, and you find you you can find a, a huge amount of amount of uh, peace of mind from that. So yeah, look at the birds, look at the squirrels, look at the animals around you, e even even look at the people. And you know, I don't, I don't think I don't think looking at people is, is quite is, is stalker-ish, unless you uh, unless you own up to to the looking, 
You know, so if, if you're looking at someone and, and someone else looks at you, don't look back. Don't look back. Stare, stare, stare at them. Stare at them. Let, let them look away. And if you guys just happen to lock eyes again, you know, you continue staring at them and while, while they stare at you, you know. I, I think I feel this is this is uh, this is very natural our original way of communication through the eyes you know when a baby when babies are born you know when, when you look at a baby they're just staring at people you know it's not until like it's not until like we grow up in society that where we're told that staring is not uh, it's not okay and that we shouldn't we shouldn't be doing it uh, it is very creepy it, it it kind of it kind of destroys the it kind of destroys uh, internal communication like communication without words you know so I, I think I feel that we we should tap more into like stare stare like stare at people calmly don't stare at people menacingly just just relax you know just, you know just stare you may you may start like uh, you may you might meet a new friend just by this method you know they say that. The, the eyes are the, are the windows to the soul, you know, so so maybe intuitively other people can also pick up that, hmm, okay, this person is interesting, I want to, I want to talk to them, you know, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of starts to get very communicable, uh, uh, yeah, very funny when both people are like constantly just, just looking at each other, you know, I think it be, I think it becomes creepy when when the user makes it creepy so if you're looking at someone and you look away and then you look at someone and then you look away again it's very it's very covert if you're gonna stare at somebody just 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 be just be very uh own 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 it you know be be just own it you know own it yeah i'm staring at you you know so but 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 don't but, but don't be like uh don't be too menacing you know just just calmly just calmly just 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 be chill about it you know what i'm saying you know and then perhaps there may be some kind of uh, there may be some kind of conversation that that happens. And so if I were to share a personal story, my time at the park. So I was at the park. I was looking at a girl. I was staring at her, and then she and then she caught on and she 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 looked at me. And then but I continued to look at her. And then she, then like it was a, a very long stare. I, I would say like a, a five second stare of us staring at each other. Then she looked away. Then I just continued staring at her, and then she 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 looked looked back at me while she was looking at me staring at me, and then and then like that's when I started to just crack a smile, and then that's when she like walked up to me and she was like, "Do I know you from somewhere?" And so with that whole ordeal, you could just keep the conversation going, and then you can uh, establish a new a new connection with the person, you know. It, it was like as if. You know, looking at her was like, you know, I didn't know her. So it was like as if looking at her was like kind of telepathically communicating that, hey, I want to talk to you. Come here, you know. And I believe when when people are on their phones, it, dis it distracts us. It distracts us from each other. It, it distracts us from communicating with, with new people. We're just so busy on the on the internet world, on the on the technological world, that we don't really uh, notice all the stuff that's going on in our world today. You know. And so let's speak about George Floyd. And so George Floyd is a. Uh, so, so the, with the George Floyd case, as you can, you probably know already, there's been a lot of rise around the world regarding uh, police brutality and what happened to George Floyd with the police. And there's also two more incidents that a lot of people don't know about that has been similar to the George Floyd case with, with two, pol two police officers kneeling on a person's neck, which I think happened in Spain and some other country. I'll have a, I'll have a picture on, on the screen. So... You know, there's been a rise around the world, and you know, I've even, I've even experienced the uh, the protests happening and taking taking place. Uh, I'm not a fan of the rise and the stealing and the and the, and the destruction, but if you want to put out a message just to someone, uh, I'm I'm okay with it. You can do what you want to do, but the the destruction is it, it, it does it, it strays away from the original message of George Floyd, you know. And from what I've witnessed, living living in New York, I've seen I've seen it, I've seen I've seen the stealing, and also I've seen cops destroying their own their own cars, which is very uh, suspicious. Why would they be doing that? 
you know and I, there's also video footage of cops destroying their own cars on on the internet and there's also cops supplying bricks to protesters as if they want to promote this violence to to have an agenda uh, there was this burning that happened in, in Mississippi they said that the rise the the the, uh, the protesters caused it but from what I what I've been seeing in my personal life and also from video footage you never know maybe the police burned down their own uh, their own uh, headquarters you know uh, it, it, it's, been, it's just been it's just been a wild uh, it's just been a wild year with this you know so why would why would they be doing this why would you know why would the police be doing something like this why would they and, and not all police are then all police are not aware of this it's just a select few of police police officers that are that are doing this they're not that they're not even like uh that that uh, some some mainstream i guess police officers aren't aware of this so it's not it's not all of them but it's just the select few and and why 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 is this happening you know that's that's when you get like really deep into the rabbit hole deep deep into like the political agendas but it is i'm not going to do that it is not the channel for that right now but you know it, it, it's been that has been wild and i've even seen it so yeah you take it what you will uh and then i guess there was Jocelyn Maxwell, the next big thing, who, and she was like the head of a, a child trafficking ring along with Jeffrey Epstein, and apparently these guys are connected to, to big politicians and celebrities that are into this uh, child trafficking uh, ring. I even started looking more into that, and the information that I found out was kind of, whew, it, it, it was a bit shocking when you really go deep into the rabbit hole. But uh, it's this is not the challenge for that. You you could do that on your own time, but <clears throat> it, it, there's been a lot of revelation. You know, 2020 vision. You know, a lot of people's shadows are coming to light this year. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. I will be uploading weekly videos soon. I don't usually do politics on this channel, but this is something I wanted to do because it was on my mind. So yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.